Hi developers, I'm Hossein Dillah, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll see how we can access the GPS uh, hardware from uh, Xamarin Forms so that we can get the location of uh, the user, so that we can get like the uh, longitude and latitude. So the application we'll be building will look like uh, this one. So here I have this application running on Android emulator and here on my real device. So you see here, when I click this button, get GPS position on the emulator, I get this default um, position. And here when I run this application inside my uh, real uh, device here, my Samsung device, I get this uh, position, position here. Um, and here you see the position are not the same here because um, in the emulator, uh, the emulator doesn't have a GPS so the emulator will try to emulate the, the GPS for that it will give you a default position uh, which is always uh, this latitude and this longitude which is a place somewhere in uh, the US and for the device we get the real uh, position here which is in my case 36 and uh, 10 so how we can um, how we can develop l uh, such application? What which cool code we need to write inside our Xamarin Forms? So let's take a look. So here I have created a new Xamarin Forms application by going to File, New Project, then choosing blank XAML app. Here the next step is to go to the solution. Right click and uh, click here manage no get packages for solution here we'll get um, actually Xamarin Forms doesn't come with the um, with the API for accessing the GPS uh, for that we will need to add that uh, API so that Xamarin Forms can use it and can support it so let's go and install that API which is available as a NuGet package I'll go to browse here and search for a plugin called xam.plugin.geolocator. So this is the plugin we'll be using. So let's uh, install this plugin in all our projects and the portable project, the Android, iOS and Windows projects. Hit install. So this will take uh, some time to um, to uh, complete the installation of this plugin inside our uh, solution. So uh, let's, um, at the time it installs, we I go here to the uh, to open this web page. So here inside this uh, GitHub web page, here we have um, more information about this plugin, how we can use it and which are which um, platforms supported by this plugin so you see here i have um, a simple code that shows me how to use this plugin so i go and copy this one because i go and use it and here you can find some other um, some other information about using uh, the gps location so if you want for example to keep your application uh, tracking the, uh, the gps position uh, not only by uh, clicking by once clicking uh, on a button, but you want to keep tracking the GPS position while the user is uh, moving from one place to another one. Then you can choose, for example, to work with uh, this event handler position uh, position uh, change it. Of course, you can also change some parameters like the uh, accuracy of uh, the GPS position and some uh, some other uh, properties so for us let's go back to our application so now that the plugin completed installing it shows this geolocator this uh, readme file which is a text that shows us how to use um, this plugin and what we need to do in order to use this uh, plugin so here for example it's telling me that in android i need um, actually i don't need to uh, add these hardware cap capabilities which are the access course location and access find location because the plugin will do that for us uh, but for windows phone we need to add the id cap 
uh, location permission and uh, so that our application get the permission to use the um, that hardware so let's start writing code so here after understanding the, the plugin he will go to the main page and here I'll change this default uh, label so let's say here um, I'll create a stack layout so let's do that quickly let's have it an orientation uh, vertical this stack layout will have a button that button will have a text saying get GPS position for example that button will have a clicked event that um, where we'll write the code to get the uh, GPS position so let's paste the code we have um, that uh, I have copied from the, the web page you can find this code also inside here the readme file somewhere yeah the, this is it we are using this code right here and here what this code does it will call this object cross geolocator dot current this object is the object responsible for uh, getting the, the user's position uh, this um, object have some uh, some properties like the desired accuracy here we are uh, setting the accuracy uh, the, the accuracy of uh, the result so how much accurate uh, our position is here we are specifying uh, 50 for example it's 50 meters the unit then we'll use that same object to uh, access another um, method which is get position async this is the method that will um, access the GPS hardware and return the position of the user so for that it's you see here it's returning um, a task of position uh, and because it's an async method here it is it uses await and with the await keyword of course I should use the async with uh, the, uh, the event so this method will return uh, a position and here you see it's also taking some other parameter uh, which is the timeout milliseconds so here I'm telling uh, that I can wait until uh, 10 thousand milliseconds that means 10 uh, seconds until I get my um, my position if uh, if the um, if it takes more than 10 seconds then uh, I stop uh, that uh, uh, that request so now that we have get the, the GPS position here using the get position I think now we want to uh, show that position inside the our uh, user interface in a real application of course you might want to use this project position to uh, add a pin inside uh, the map but here for the sake of this demo will only uh, show the uh, those um, uh, the latitude and longitude inside our um, uh, user interface here so for that I'll go and add a new label here let's uh, call it or let's uh, give it a name Oops. Uh, so let's call it for example this is gonna be our latitude uh, label uh, this latitude label will have a font size of 50 for example I'll go make a copy of this one and the second label will be called it longitude label it has the, the same uh, size uh, I'll add a new label to say that the first one is uh, latitude let's give it a um, text color let's say it's gray and it have also a font size of let's say 30 Let's undent this and let's use the same uh, label with the second label that will display uh, this time it will display the longitude uh, 
and here after getting the position I'll go and display um, inside the longitude label dot text I'll go and display the position and the position here of the GPS contains uh, lots or uh, some uh, properties which are mainly the latitude and the longitude which are the two properties um, you, you should be uh, the more interested in then you have some other properties like the uh, altitude, uh, accuracy, alt altitude, accuracy, speed and timestamp for us today we are interested in uh, longitude and latitude so for that I'm going to also show the uh, latitude label I uh, show inside it the position dot latitude position dot latitude because latitude uh, is a double so and here text is a string we need to cast it or to convert it to a string here I simply use to uh, to string method now by running this uh, application we'll get these two uh, user interfaces uh, something like uh, that seems like these ones uh, so here we get the uh, that label for latitude and the label for uh, longitude with the values of uh, each one so here um, don't forget for your um, he here we are uh, I'm testing on Android and on Android as mentioned inside the documentation here we don't need to add these uh, permissions but we need to add these permissions for our Windows projects so how we can do that so for it, any Windows project here we we'll need to go to package.apix manifest and here we'll go to the capabilities window here we have all the capabilities a list of these capabilities we need to set the one uh, related to the location here so we'll need to, we'll need to uh, set that one and hit control s so that we can uh, save this file then you are ready to run your uh, windows uh, application so i hope this was helpful for you and thank you